On the grass, in the dirt, or in the snow, it certainly doesn't matter to these athletes. No, it doesn't. Fox 31's Dan Drew this morning learns how to run barefoot. The big question is, why would you want to do that? Dan, well, live now. Be... Dan, you're in Boulder, and uh, a lot of barefoot running going on up there, huh? Well, th there's a lot of stuff going on up here in Boulder. <laughs> We're talking about barefoot running. And I am told, Mr. Funny Pants, that uh, actually barefoot running by uh, uh, Michael uh, Sandler, who actually has a company and a school that teaches people how to barefoot, what are some of the benefits? Fits. Uh, stronger, healthier, lighter, able to get back into running, able to run injury free, easier on the joints, uh, gives you greater flexibility, greater strength, uh, overall greater health. Hey, we weren't born with shoes on our feet, so why do we even wear shoes now? Although it look kind of funny if you're going to a corporate meeting. Why don't we just run bare naked? That'd even be better. That's a whole other story <laughs> for a whole other town. All right. Uh, now, now, Michael, I'm looking at some footwear here, so I don't understand. If we're going to be running uh, barefoot, what, what, why do we have footwear? Uh, well, we have footwear because uh, certain places it's not socially acceptable to go with shoes uh, without shoes on. Also because uh, not, most people aren't going to go barefoot 100% of the time. If it's too cold out, if it's uh, real rocky terrain, or if you're just getting into barefoot running, then uh, there's going to be a time and place that you're going to want to have footwear on your feet. It's also good as a transitioning shoe, too, as you're getting into barefoot running. What you're looking at there is a five. Vibram five-finger shoe. Okay. Uh, which allows your toes to move freely. And by doing that, it gives you more of a natural stride. It allows your toes to uh, spread. Um, might not smell the greatest there. Um, but it works fantastically for your feet. There you've got uh, a ninja shoe called a tabby shoe from Japan. This is actually the most common shoe for workers to wear in Japan. It allows your few, uh, toes to move more freely, allows you to feel the ground. And uh, your industrial workers, your steel workers up on the girders on buildings will wear a shoe like that because it allows them to have better balance and uh, better control as they're walking across the girders and across buildings. And, and also you can go at night, you can do, uh, go to your ballet classes in these too. Uh, yes, you could. Oh, that's a little, <laughs> probably a little too small for my dogs. Uh, maybe a little bit. Oh. Um, another fun one that we have here is, um, let's look at the booties right here. This is a neoprene booty, basically a neoprene moccasin. And uh, by using a booty with uh, this little insole here called a toasty feet insole, it allows you to run uh, feeling barefoot in temperatures well below zero. Uh, then this is one of my Steven, personal Steven favorite. Steven Sashen, there's Steven right there. He actually made these. He invented these, didn't he? Uh, <laughs> no, Did you? These have been around for thousands of years. They're called warache. This pair has been around for thousands. Not of this pair, this style, this oh, whole idea. Okay, this nice. pair has been around for about 25 minutes since I made them for okay, you. And so you make them, and the idea is it helps you run uh, pebble-free. Well, the closest thing you can have to being barefoot without being barefoot. So mm -hmm. it's a very, very thin sole with uh -huh. just some fun lacing that straps them to your feet. Uh -huh. And uh, we make these and sell kits at invisibleshoe.com. And here you and you made mine in fluorescent orange, so guys, I can actually go hunting in these things. All right, now, you know what? We're actually going to do a little running here pretty soon, aren't we? Absolutely. i got to do this, don't I? Uh, you have to. All right, so the website, your website? Uh, runbear.com and barefootrunningbook.com. Mm -hmm. In the land of sky blue waters. And then your website? Invisibleshoe.com. All right, guys, before I toss it back, Stephen, look right into the camera. Look right in the camera. I want you to say, you can take my sandals, but you'll never take my freedom. Only you, do it, right? <laughs> you can take my sandals, but you'll never take my freedom. Right. <laughs> Very nice good. Work. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> With do gusto. It. Do it. <laughs> That's a Mel Gibson. All he needs is a little tartan skirt right there. That was nice. That was impressive. Good impression. Very impressive. <laughs>